what's going on guys horcrux here welcome back to the channel and before we begin today's video a huge shout out to my patrons you guys are amazing as is everyone who watches my content so without further ado let's kind of hop into today's video now i do have some gameplay footage in the back so i'll let your your eyes feast on that as i rant and give you guys my honest thoughts on the way eso is right now um I don't normally like making videos like this for the simple fact that they usually do pretty bad plus they're pretty negative and toxic so in the comments if you guys do have an opinion which I expect a lot of you to have please keep it very friendly down in the comments I wouldn't prefer not to have a very toxic community so we're all adults here my demographics say the average person who watches my video is about 30 years old so yeah we're all adults grow up but uh, in this video I kind of want to talk about ESO, not not just this patch, but ESO in a nutshell. In the past seven years, I've played this game off and on. Sometimes I'll hit it super hard, long binges. Sometimes, you know, not so much. I'll take a hiatus and play other games. Now, coming into ESO, uh, let me go ahead and start with the, the new player experience. Coming into ESO right now is good and really bad good if you like the pve content you like to chill you know with your friends you know do, do dungeons raiding etc the pve the, the aesthetics of this game is absolutely amazing everything is so beautiful it looks so clean like it's an amazing game to hop into at the start you know there's all kinds of crafting communities that you can get into everyone is so friendly that, that you know they'll, they'll get you the gear that you need usually if you have questions in zone chat or you know guild chat everyone's you know really helpful to, to new players and then there's PvP. Um, <laughs> how do I say this without being um, super negative? It is a learning curve. It is a very, very, very steep any up entry and a learning curve. And <laughs> PvP, let's be honest, guys, just breeds toxicity at times. Um, PvP didn't start out that way. Uh, back in vanilla used to have like v14 ranks v16 ranks was like vet 14 vet 16 you know back in the day and there was no dueling you would go to the cross uh which is uh one of the outposts actually in the bottom right hand corner i forget i think that's cropsford or something like that but yeah that used to be called the cross and that's where like all the elitist pvp people would gather and duel you know and do their thing and then the rest of serial was kind of you know for the more casual player it, it was a really fun experience like it wasn't laggy even on xbox how i started out it was phenomenal like s some of the best couple of years of my life and then you know as, as the game progressed new sets come into the game new features and i feel like it has gotten to the point to where no matter what is done to the servers or, or, or what incentive is put into Cyrodiil, nothing is going to matter at this point. Um, it, this is a very old system that was based off of. I wish ESO could do something to the extent of what WoW did. They completely gutted their infrastructure to their game you know, for their servers. They completely redid everything because they knew in the long run that their game was going to need it. And they did. I mean, it's Blizzard. They had the funding to do that and they can do so pretty easily. But I, I feel that's what needs to go on ESO, guys. I know you feel it too. When I get into a population lock server, as soon as I log in, it doesn't matter where I'm at in the entire map. My latency is through the roof, guys. I have a great gaming and streaming PC. Like, amazing. Like, like really top tier. And for me to have these latency issues just by logging in to Sierra Deal is, it's, it's not our problem. It's it, it's definitely Zoss's problem, and they tried to fix it. I mean, honestly, God, they they really have put forth the effort, but nothing seems to work. Like the latency and lag. Yeah, when you get near, you know, Zergs, you know, whatever. Yeah, your pings will go up. Yeah, yada yada. But to just log in and have like a 300 ping is is crazy. And then and then my innate ping is 90. That that's still pretty high, to be honest. I mean, a, a 90 ping, like just as average, that's that's not good but you know kind of enough about you know like the servers and all we, we we already know what the issues are um hopefully they're, they're taking steps to resolve it now what i'm more concerned about again you know is like the new player experience and if pvp is worth playing right now so here's my honest to god thoughts i have played non-stop for the past couple of weeks 
I even have, you know, I even play on the PTS just so I could kind of get ahead of the game on kind of what meta sets are going to be ran. And right now in PvP, guys, I've tried no proc builds. Like on my Sorcerer right now, like I don't even, I don't even want to put the, the build video out just because it it's underwhelming. Like if you do not have Dark Convergence, Rothgar, or Plague Break right now, everything just feels underwhelming I, 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 that's all i'm gonna say I, I i from a i've been playing in small groups i've been playing solo so from my solo experience i i, I understand like we are the minority of solo players you know zosh really doesn't care you know about the, the typical you know solo player because that's really not what serial is about you know it's about you know grouping and yada yada i get it but from my experience as a solo player if you're not running proc sets in a campaign that allows proc sets you will not do well no matter how many years you have in this game i have seven years into this game collectively between xbox and pc i have about 4500 hours on my sorcerer and i i can't even like 1v4 like just average people sometimes guys with the with these proc sets out it's and, and it's not just the proc sets i put a video out on how to play around them as well and the latency is just so bad it doesn't seem like it really matters um, these sets need tweaking a little bit, obviously. I mean, everyone knows that, um, but not tweaking in, you know, just a flat amount of damage. They need tweaked in the sense of the way that they work. The, these sets were put into the game to kind of Zerg bus groups. You know, I'm a firm believer of that, you know, because we've complained about that for, you know, how long, guys? But I just feel that these sets are too powerful on smaller groups. So when I am solo, this happened to me in IC today, solo, no NPCs around me, I got hit by a 17k dark convergence proc and an additional like 6k after. That was solo, okay? That should not happen. <laughs> that should never ever happen. The damage is fine, it just needs tweaks to where it doesn't do the hellacious damage to a solo person it needs to have intervals at which it does more damage you know dark convergence you know especially like if you're just using it on one person it should tickle like it, it should be like a 2.5k like proc and it, it should tickle not a 17k proc guys for a solo player so i'm not sure if it's bugged or whether it's working as intended or whatever that nature but dark convergence should not perform as well on smaller groups um, so this kind of leads me into uh, Plague Break. Plague Break, uh, there's actually no counter to it. I, I think Plague Break is actually a pretty decent, you know, kind of balanced set, uh, contrary to what you guys may think. Um, it does kind of deal with, you know, the, the Zerg healing and the Smart Healing and the Hot Healing. I like this set. It, it doesn't do an incredible amount of burst. Never on my recap have I been like, oh shit, that was like a 20k Plague Break proc, you know. Never has, has that happened. Sure, the... Uh, the, the plague thing it puts on you is pretty annoying and it does reduce your healing, but I mean, it's a five piece set. Um, so that kind of leads me into Hrothgar. Hrothgar, it needs balance in the way that that proc should not happen every seven seconds. Um, I do kind of like the, the principle of Hrothgar, kind of deal with tanky people. But again, for us solo players in a small group, unless we're running sets that just give us flat mitigation, which is in my build video, I, I have to oh in my video i have to kind of counter these sets if you're running you know you're rocking 30k resistances roth is gonna hit you like a truck it hits me for like seven and eight k sometimes and this is on a seven second cooldown if they could increase the cooldown and maybe leave the damage alone i think that would be okay as well or if you've been affected by rothgar someone else cannot come up to you and hit you with a rothgar proc as well because i'm getting hit with like two and three rothgar procs like every seven seconds and it's the, the damage is just absurd. And, and this is from a seven-year veteran, guys. Imagine a new newer player. A, a, imagine a average or casual player. The new player experience in PvP is terrible in this game. Uh, I do bode well about ESO in probably 80% of the aspects of this game. But when it comes to like the new player experience, I, the devs don't play the game. It, it's just simple as that, guys. The devs do not play the game. That's... If they played the game firsthand, like they they would see, you know, what's going on. Like I don't even recommend this to my 
friends to play in PvP. Like, in order to play this in PvP, like, starting out, you have to have a group. You have to have someone mentoring you. You have to have someone, you know, kind of with you. Until, you know, about six, seven months from now, you kind of get your bearings straight. And you can actually go, go out on your own or in a, you know, a small group compared to a Zerg. So, um, I understand why Zergs exist. It is very intimidating. So, um, again, these sets should kind of be tweaked, not necessarily removed or, you know, whatever. They just need tweaked to where they don't hit smaller groups as hard and bigger groups. To be honest, you know, make it hit bigger groups harder. I mean, if you want to do the extremes that way to, to make these sets really viable. So, if you're going to rock this set, you really have to build into it and, and play accordingly. You can't just, like, toss on Dark Convergence and hit one or two people with 10k Dark Convergence procs. That's not how this set or how it should work if you're running a zerg busting set that's what it needs to do it needs to like bust zergs not not small groups you guys get what i'm saying so well, that kind of does it you know for the the server performance um again you know there are advantages of this set i you know all these sets i know i keep reiterating it they are good sets they're they're just not used you know as intended you know especially you know coming from a solo player um, if you do not run these sets right now in Cyrodiil, guys, like you have to fight fire with fire right now. That's that's really the meta is fight fire with fire. It's you know which proc sets are you gonna run? Um, that's that's really what it boils down to. It doesn't matter if you're a small group, solo, or Zergs. You you just kind of have to run one of these sets. That that's just the way it is. Which is okay. I kind of like it, but at the same time, uh, it is pretty oppressive. <laughs> so. Um, that's my thoughts on PvP. Um, I, I know you guys may disagree. I'm sure all of you all have you kind of mixed opinions about this. Um, I would love to know down in the towel section um, what you guys think. Um, I personally want there to be more incentive in Cyrodiil to kind of break up the Zergs. Yes, the sets were a great idea, a great start. They need to be tweaked. This should have been done like on a weekly basis to tweak these sets. If 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 Zoss cared about the new player experience or any experience whatsoever in PvP for that matter, they should have been on top of tweaking these sets. You know, as they come up. I understand it's only been out two weeks, but when I expect you know a developer company that you know they don't play the game, like what else are you doing? You know, so um, I would love to have like a weekly like update for ESO. You know, hey, here's what we're working on. Here's where what we're thinking about doing like a diary something ESO just like give us some some thoughts you know of, of some some visions into what you guys are thinking and what your plans are for the game good or bad doesn't really matter it would just be nice to know that you guys are actively thinking about this game and you know me being a small channel no one's gonna watch this video important right but I feel that it is kind of important to get that that thought out there you know as well that um, ESO is a diamond in the rough it's such an amazing game. It's just not built to its potential right now. I know it can be a great game. I mean, it, it, it doesn't even compare to like Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft. I mean, World of Warcraft is a whole other story. I mean, that's that's kind of getting shit on and burned to the ground as we speak. But um, ESO has a great combat system. It's very unique. You know, there's no cooldowns. I, I understand it's very hard to balance a system like this, but it can be done. Um yeah, so I'll stop rambling, guys. I just wanted to voice my opinions on the way PvP is right now. Um, just just my honest-to-God thoughts. So if you guys are feeling overwhelmed in PvP, don't worry, you're not alone. I am too. <laughs> it, it is very frustrating at times, so um, I understand. So down in the towel section, guys, please leave your comments, thoughts, concerns. Again, try to keep it professional. I would like to not have any toxicity on this channel. It's not something I want to promote, nor do I stand by. And again, guys, thank you everyone who tuned in to today's video slash rant. I look forward to reading your comments. I will try to respond to each and every single one of them in a productive manner. <laughs> productive, guys. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.